Welcome to Math in a Box with Susan Johnsey. In this lesson we're going to study consecutive integers. The integers are your whole numbers and their negatives. Consecutive just means they follow each other. They go up by one each time. For an example, I have written here 3, 4, and 5. Those are three consecutive integers. But also negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 are four consecutive integers. Each of these go up by adding one more to the last number. In algebra, though, we're going to want to use variables. So let's use variables and describe our consecutive integers. If Usually we let x be the first one. Of course, you can use any variable you like. x is the first one, and we saw that each time we always go up by 1, so that means we're going to add 1 to find the next consecutive integer. So this is two consecutive integers. A third one, add one more, and we would have x plus 2 as our third one. So for three consecutive integers, the first will be x, the second is x plus 1, and the third one is x plus 2. Now in case your uh, problem asks you to find four of them, we would list another one. That would be x plus 3. Each time I added one more. Let's look at a problem. Uh, the sum of twice the first consecutive integer and three times the third consecutive integer is 26. Now notice that I said sum. Sum means that we're going to add these together. See the word sum means we're going to add twice the first, twice the first consecutive integer. Our first consecutive integer was the x, so we will write 2 times x, or 2x. Twice means multiply by 2. Then it says and 3 times the third consecutive integer. The third consecutive integer is the x plus 2. So if I write x plus 2 as my third consecutive integer, it says 3 times that. So I will multiply it by 3. And remember the word was sum at the beginning. Sum means to add these together. And they will equal what? Well, they say it says 26. So here is our equation. Now we will solve our equation and know what the first consecutive integer is. Multiply by the 3. Give me 3x plus 6 here. And we will add, of course, the 2x. That's at the beginning. So our e equation becomes 5x plus 6 equals 26. We subtract 6 from both sides and we will have that 5x equals 20. And then x is 4. We would divide it by 5. Now I'm going through these steps quickly because this should already be easy for you. If not, then you need to go back and study solving equations. Alright, so our first consecutive integer is, x is uh, 4. So therefore, our next one, we add 1 we will have 5 and then the third one because we were asked to find three of them will be x plus 2 which is 6. Now you can always go back and check this. Remember the sum of the tw uh, twice the first. The first one was a 4 and if I multiply that by 2 oops, forgot the 2, I'll get 8. We were supposed to then multiply the third one by 3 and that will give me 18. And if I add those to find the sum, I will have 26, which is the answer that we wanted at the beginning of the problem. Now let's look at some other types of integers. Let's look at the consecutive odd integers and the consecutive even integers. Yes, we're going to look at these at the same time. The reason is that the odd integers and the even integers actually go up by the same amount each time they go up by 2. Negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1 are odd consecutive integers. And you notice each time I have to add 2 in order to find the next odd integer. The same thing happens with the evens. I must add 2 each time. So therefore in an algebra class we are going to call 
our integers. I'll begin with y this time. Oops, not very good y. Then the next one is y plus 2. And the third one would be y plus 4. Remember, each time we must add 2 in order to find the next odd or even integer. Let's write one more. The next one, or the fourth consecutive odd or even, would be y plus 6. Let's try this problem. The sum of three consecutive odd integers is 111. How would we write our equation for that? Well, if we want three consecutive odd integers, we would start with our x, and the second one would be x plus 2, and our third one would be x plus 4. Remember, the odd integers increase by 2 each time. Now, again, when I use the word sum, so we will add these, and they will equal 111. Now, let's simplify the equation. This is 3x plus 6 equals 111. Subtract 6 from each side, we will have 3x equals 105. Now, if we divide by 3, we will have x. Our first consecutive odd integer should will be thir uh, 3, 5, 35. So that means our next one is 37 and then 39. To check this, just add those three consecutive odd integers. They should give you the 111. Let's do a problem that's very similar, but we're going to use even integers this time. Let's think about um, three consecutive even integers that equal 138. Now again, we're going to use x plus the second consecutive integer would be x plus 2. Consecutive integers go up by 2, same as the odds. So the equation on the right, on the left side is really the same. The difference is that the sum on this one is 138. Alright, let's simplify the equation. We'll have 3x plus 6 again equals 138. So 3x equals 132. Divide by 3 and we will have x equals what, 43. So the next, uh, then we will have x plus uh, 2 is 45. Something's wrong. These are odd. Did I divide wrong? Yes, I did. This should have been a 4. Boy, I'm glad I caught that mistake. Remember, we were looking for even numbers. So this would be 44, and therefore this would be 46, and then 48. If we add 4 to the 44, we will have 48. Now if we add those three did, uh, integers, 44, 46, and 48, they should equal 138, and they are consecutive even integers. I hope this helps you on your uh, lesson today to get your homework or assignment completed. This is consecutive integers, consecutive odd integers, and consecutive even integers. You should always read this problems given to you more than one time. The first problem that I did for you today really was the most difficult. So let's read it again. The sum of twice the first consecutive integer, the sum of twice the first consecutive integer. See, I have to really skip over the word sum now. I keep that in my mind that that does mean I'm going to add, but I need to know what I'm going to add. And if you'll look for the word and, the and separates the two things that we have to add. Now, the word and does not mean add. We are adding because of the word sum. Twice the first consecutive integer. Twice means to multiply by 2. So I multiply the 2x. And then it says 3 times the third consecutive integer. The third one in our list was x plus 2, so I multiplied it by a 3. I added those together to get 26. 
So practice reading word problems and you will get better at it. They're really not that hard. This is Susan Johnson with MathInABox.com. If you need help, you can always email me. I answer email daily, 350 days out of the year.